the uh, Bear Claw bow versus the Razorback bow. So we're here on Parquet Fernando. And we're going to be going to the shooting range. Which is over here. But um, yeah, we're going to be going to the shooting range. And seeing which one's more accurate. If I can ever find the shooting range. It would be pleasant. I know, you're probably thinking I'm a dum-dum. I just haven't played Call of the Wild. It's been a few days. Let's see here. Matt, I hit outpost, right? No, I'm just starting an outpost. From here, maybe? Okay. Okay, so first we're going to be trying the uh, Bear Claw, or the Razorback Bow equipped with the equipped with the bright sight rangefinder bow sight which is the sight we'll, we will be using today and first we're going to be using the 300 and 300 grain small trace arrows so we're going to see how they do and then we'll go on from there Okay, so now we're up here, and we're going to go ahead and take a shot at this black buck. Let's see how far it is first. That is about a 16 meter shot. So if we... Zero for 15 with the Razorback bow. And hold low vitals. Should be good about right there. And yeah. Let's see. Yeah, we're hitting pretty solid. Let's. I'm hitting a little low. So let's go ahead and hold. Oh, right, right there. Okay. So. 25 meters. We're shooting dead on. Now, I'm not saying the Razorback is not accurate. It's just not as accurate as the Bear Claw, as you'll see. That's 50 meters on the dot, and we're hitting low. So that wind, we're going to need to hold for about right there. <gasps> A bullseye. Let's see here. If we can hold high. We hit a bullseye on the Rocky Mountain Elk. Or no, we didn't. We hit high. We hit really high. We're hitting high. So we're going to zero for 94. I should work. Okay, and then a little bit of wind. Okay, so we're shooting pretty straight up to about 50 yards. Let's see how far this is. 70. Let's see where we're shooting. Shooting a little high for 70. Let's zero for 63 and hold a little high. And yeah, as you can see, the bear claw does not shoot per, or I mean this, but it's hard to say. Let's go ahead and switch over to the bear claw. And let's go ahead and exit. So we don't see our tracers anymore. Reset. Never mind, I thought that would make our tracers go away. So we're gonna zero for twelve and hold a little right right there. That should be dead on at 15 meters. 
Button zero for 22, hold the right on, and that should be good. Zero in for 25. Let's see. We are using the th 300 grain arrows. Okay, so we hit really low. I just realized, where's zero been? Okay. Okay. 35 meters. We're dead on. Pretty much. We need to hold about right there. Yeah, and that should be good. That would definitely bring that down. Let's zero for 50. Okay. Okay. We're going to take a 75 meter shot now. We hit high for 75 meters. We're going to zero for 66. Pull it a little bit to the left. And we're pretty much dead on. And that's a bullseye. Let's see where we're hitting if we zero for 99. Hold low. We hold right on. A little high. Maybe zero for 97. That should work. Okay. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and equip the 420 grain arrows choices. First, we're gonna be shooting the Razorback. And here we go. A zero in for 50 meters. And we're pretty much dead on as usual. Tracks me to animals, so I always apply the sniff test. If the droppings are fresh, your game is close by. But if you find all the droppings, that animal is long gone, and you should look for a more recent trail. Okay, so look. let's go ahead and zero in for 25 and take a shot at this cougar, bobcat, whatever. And we're dead on. Here for 35. Um, I think we need to hold for top of the spine. Looking like we're gonna need to hold for about right there. Yeah, that's a bullseye. Okay. We're gonna zero in for 70 with the 420 Gary arrows, your arrows and the Razorback bow. And we got a seven. Let's see if we can make, that's a nine. A little high, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, right there, that should be a perfect shot. Hmm. Perfect. Left. Okay, we're gonna shot for 100 meters now. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and equip the bear claw bow. And let's zero in for 15. Let's zero in for 17. Hold low vitals. We're in dead on. So, let's go ahead and move on out. Because I know. Let's go ahead and move on out to 35. We hold. 
Yeah, that should be good. Yeah, it's a little high. Well, brother. Let's go ahead and center him. Yeah, and if, see, as we're aiming towards the back of the body, that's dropping right in perfectly to almost a hard shot. Okay, let's go ahead and um, go for 75. 70. We've got a hard wind pushing it that way, so we're going to hold like we're going for a brain. Just as I suspected. That's 70. We're gonna zero for 92 and hold low for the heart. Zero for 71. A little low and off to the side. And that would work. Okay, let's go out to 99 yard meters now. We got a pretty good hit. Now, wind's not pushing it as much. No. Yeah, 100 meters. Maybe we're for 102. Hold low. Yeah, we need to be zeroed in for exactly the target. Sure. That was it, like spider. Sit him. I'm trying to sit him. So yeah. Um, we're gonna go ahead and go back and take some shots at the recurve and that will end this off. <coughs> <coughs> we're gonna um, take some sh shots at the recurve and the long loop. If you're running, wondering what loadout I'm running, I was running the uh, not the Razorback, the Bear Claw Bow, the 6.5 Deer Bleat 300 Caning, and the M1. I was just uh, going back to the Alpha's and I had this idea. I was hunting some Silver Ridge and I decided to hop over to Parquet to do this. I was about to change my M1 out for the regular 30 out 6. So let's go ahead and go. And equip the recurve. Let's go ahead and go and equip the recurve. Okay, so let's go ahead and buy some traditional 540 green arrows. And we should be all set. This is my first time Maybe ever even firing the carbon uh, the recur. So yeah, we'll see how see how it goes. I've never been a really big uh, bow hunter till well, now. Obviously, I'm a really big bow hunter, but um, yeah, be looking out for uh, IRL deer hunting videos coming out this weekend. Deer season opens, bow season opens. That's gonna be fun.
We're gonna go ahead and start from the ground down here because I have a feeling it'll be easier for me. Let's go ahead and take this close shot. I really don't know how to aim with very careful, so let's just send it. Okay, I'm trying my best. I'm hitting the top of the thing. What? Brain shot. What in the frick? What? This is basically just me struggling to shoot the three curve at this point. Like, this is embarrassing on my part because I have no clue how to shoot three. Like, what the frick? Am I supposed to? What? Holy crap, I hit something. Holy crap, we actually got close to a bullseye. Fire shot at the lodge. Yeah, I hate you, lodge. You can actually see the arrow. Yeah, I like this. If I shoot one at the ground, not there. Should be able to aim right on. Just over it. That's it in this live stream, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Just a quick little my opinion on the bear claw and razorback i think the bear claw is significant has better accuracy more drawback power and um yes yeah, see you guys next time